Hi, I'm Nathan Hayes. I'm director of the Cumming Nature Center for the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Today I want to talk about the convenient coevolution of squirrels and oak trees. The scientific name for white oak is Quercus alba, which sounds like if Jessica Alba had a goofy younger brother. It also happens to be Vincent, our education program coordinator, Nana's maiden name. In order to survive the winter, many animals take on one of two hoarding strategies. One is called lartering, and this is when the animal stores all of its collected food in one place, and then they defend that food stash at all costs. The other hoarding strategy is called scatter hoarding, and this is what many squirrels do, and it's this action that helps oak trees achieve their reproductive goals. Oak trees, we all know, have acorns, and they have boom and bust years of acorn production, meaning that one year they'll just produce a few acorns, and another year they'll have massive amounts. This boom and bust cycle is called mast yearing, and the boom cycle happens at, on, in an oak tree like once every three to five years. In a year like this, squirrels will work frantically to collect and store as many acorns as possible to survive the winter. This is what they need. Squirrels do not put all of their eggs in one basket. They hide their acorns in many small piles. This is called scatter hoarding. Squirrels dig all the little holes in the ground and hide their stash, and they obviously begin to do it close to home as possible. Squirrels also hide these food caches in a specific density, meaning that in a low acorn production year, the squirrel wouldn't bury their caches very far away from the trunk of the tree. But in a high production year, the squirrels will bury their acorns farther and farther away. And finally, because of that massive yield, the squirrels will eventually bury the acorns out beyond the canopy of that parent tree. When out beyond the canopy, that success rate of that acorn seed goes way up. And why? Because they get, they get out of the shade and they get some direct sunlight. As far as I know, acorns cannot throw their acorns out beyond the canopy footprint. So then it snows. The squirrel survives the winter by digging up all of those buried acorns. So how do the oak trees continue to reproduce? Squirrels don't really remember where they hid all their food. They rely on their sense of smell to find that food later in the year. The oak tree relies on the fact that that squirrel's sense of smell just isn't that great. If the squirrel had a great sense of smell or a great memory, that oak tree would have a lot less chance of reproducing. So when we combine the bumper crop year, that scatter hoarding density, and the, the squirrel's marginal uh, sense of smell, all of those things make it more possible for seedlings to germinate out beyond the tree's canopy and have a much better success rate. It's always a wonderful time of year to visit the Coming Nature Center. There's all kinds of fun things going on here. We hope to see you soon. Thanks.